Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and I'm back. Now I'm back to show the hardware mods that I've done for this thing. Um, these have all these have been shown in various places on the internet. I'm like I said, I'm just uh, gonna show it again here for simplicity's sake and for a little more explanation. So the bottom plug here is for the tiny fan on the side that's up at the top there, and the dashed you know, pink line marked one, which is uh, this wire right here, it's the upper side of the board, uh, is your ground wire for the fan. So that's the one you want to hook up to your NPN uh, or your uh, N-channel MOSFET. I end up using a 2N7000 MOSFET, which is right here, and it's source, gate, and drain. Um, if you're looking at it from the flat side, pin 1 is the source, the middle is the gate, and the right is drain. So because that's the uh, pin out there, I connected the source to ground, which is the same ground and the same pin that's being used for the digital temperature one wire sensor. The middle is gate. Um, I went ahead and put a one kilo ohm resistor for the gate because that's good practice for any time using digital signals to drive a gate of a FET. Um, that wire goes to AD0, which is a through hole via or a solder pad, depending on if the manufacturing place filled that up more or not but it's it's clearly labeled and it's to the right of this uh, capacitor right here AD0 so that's where that wire goes to the gate and then this one the uh, drain goes to the negative of your fan which is the dashed pink line uh, wire and uh, that's all there is to it for the one wire mod you just you know scrape away a little bit of the uh, coating um, over the uh, copper there, and that's that's your ground that uh, you can use to solder your uh, your two outside leads to your temperature sensor. Um, and that's pretty much it. The unit does turn on just fine with only this plug connected. Um, the microcontroller works fine. So actually, it's much better practice if you disconnect all of these and only leave connected these two wires and this one right here and if you want you can leave the fan connected I'm gonna disconnect it just because it's noisy um, these two are just you know you could remove them but it's probably better not to because they're the temperature sensors and they could be a pain with these uh, screw terminals but this is the only one you actually need to program I'm quite certain um, because that's what powers this board that's what powers the microcontroller and all you need is bus power for that so I'm gonna go ahead and program this now um, I have my header and everything all set up already. This is, uh, what's the name of this thing? This is just a 3.3 volt logic programmer. Um, I'll try to put a link to it in my description. I got this off eBay for about five bucks. And the uh, In out goes. You got to connect all of these. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and connect that and um, program it, and I'll post back my results.